Hi, so today we're going to look at setting up the VCDS HexNet interface to work on your office or garage network uh, without access to a PC. This is particularly useful if you've primarily got Macs or iPads in the workshop uh, and you haven't got a Windows PC that you can configure your HexNet on. So first we need to plug the HexNet into an OBD2 socket to get it powered up and we need to make sure it's running in AP or access point mode. So you may need to press the red button on the back to get your lights flashing the same as in this video. So in AP mode, the HexNet broadcasts its own Wi-Fi network. So we need on our mobile device to find that network and connect to it. So have a look, you can see it's broadcasting as an HN network, the serial number of the interface. So if we connect our mobile device to that network, we're then connected directly to the HexNet interface. So now if we open up a browser on the mobile device and we go to the IP address of the HexNet, which is 192.168.0.1, it will then let us log in to the VCS mobile page. Okay, so now we're on VCS Mobile, and we can type in the password, which by default is the word password, small letters. And now we're on to, we've got access to VCDS Mobile. So from here, we're going to click on the Options button, and then scroll down to Network Options. So now we're going to create a profile for the workshop or, or uh, house network that you want to use. So click on an empty profile and advanced config. So now we need to type in the name of the network that we want to connect to. I'll speed it up a little bit here while I type in the, uh, the details. Okay. And now we need to type, choose the security type of the network and enter the security key. These details should be found on the back of your router. So now we need to select the profile we've just set up and set it as the active profile. So we'll lose the connection here because it's no longer broadcast to a network, it's now connecting to the router. So we can confirm this by having a look at the lights on the back of the interface. So if you unplug the hex net and then plug it back in again, the lights should flash similar to those shown in the video now. And then once it's actually managed to connect to your workshop or home network, all the lights will turn green. So now if we go into the VCDS software and go to the options page, we make sure the bullet is set to the net for the net interface and we can click on the test button and it should through our network now find the hexnet interface there we go it's found that so you click on ok and we can save that configuration and now we can go and connect directly to a vehicle so click on select and if we then choose a control module Apple engine. The HexNet interface should now be able to talk to the vehicle. There we go. And we can read fault codes. And the HexNet is now working wirelessly. So you can access it from a browser on an iPad or other mobile device or through the VCDS Windows software. Okay, well, thanks very much for watching. If you've got any other questions, please contact us at gendan.co.uk.